to the Hi, I am Megan Govey here with Dylan King, aka DK. I am with PSU TV and this is Campus Life. In today's episode, we will be going to Japan Night, and I will also get a little preview in the Japan Night rehearsal. Dylan, are you excited for Japan Night? I am really excited. I've heard a lot about Japanese culture and how cool it is, and hopefully this event will open it up to me in a more experienced and broad way. Japan Night is run by our own students at Portland State, the JSS, Japanese Student Society. I'm very excited, and I will see you there. Can you guys tell me what you guys are doing on Japan Night? Um, we're doing manzai, and that is a form of Japanese slapstick comedy. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your piece? So, Soranbushi is a traditional piece from Hokkaido, the northernmost island of Japan. And it tells the life of a, a sailor, a fisherman. So each move corresponds with a, a type of a movement a, a fisherman would do, such as reeling in nets, tossing fish over their shoulders. That's awesome. Hi, I'm Dylan. And I'm Megan, and we are here with PSU TV. And we are here at Japan Night, hosted by JSS. We're gonna have games, we're gonna have music, we have food, we're gonna have a great time. A great time. Check it out. Hello, Dylan King again, and with me I have Ashley. How are you doing tonight, Ashley? Good. <laughs> so, what is your job here at Japan Night? I'm here controlling guests and making sure they know where to go and just making sure that they know that there's games and food and fun and performances later tonight. So what are some of the things that Japan Night has to offer? We have the Kingo game which is the you scoop up goldfish. We also have a it's called the shutout game where you knock out little like little boxes and then we also have making paper cranes back here and they also have a free bento vegetarian or meat your choice. I'll probably go for the meat section. <laughs> Alright, well thank you for taking the time to interview with us, Ashley. And have a good night. So, Jimmy, how was the catching of the fish? Uh, it was a uh, arduous ordeal. Me and the fish, uh, did battle on a grand and epic scale, but eventually I came out of the the uh, ordeal triumphant. That's Philosophy by Jimmy right here at Japan Night. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm here with... I'm Yuki. I'm also Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> and could you guys tell me what game this is? Uh, it's a baseball game. You are a pitcher in this game. And yeah. you can throw a ball five times and you... Make it three times you can get item. And why did you choose to have a pitching game here at Japan Night? Because I like baseball and baseball is the most popular game in Japan. Wow. Yes. It's a big game here in America too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Dylan King for PSU TV here at Japan Night. And with me I have Yui. Yui, how are you doing tonight? Good. So what is one of the events, like what are you doing 
at Japanese Night? Like, what's your what's your job? I'm staff of the booth, and uh, um, I'm a light kanji and hiragana and katakana. It's a Japanese traditional letters. Could you show us some of the Japanese letters? This one is America, and this one is samurai. It's a bushi, Japanese traditional bushi. Yeah. All right. Well, that thank you, Yui, for your time. And this is Dylan King signing out. I am here with Greg King, the student organization advisor. And um, Greg, could you tell us what sort of planning goes into this event? Sure. Um, there's actually quite a bit of planning. So the students do most of the planning. Um, and then what they start off with is kind of a rough estimate of what, what they want to do for the event. The students have probably been planning it since or that probably, but the students have been planning it since uh, the first week of the term, essentially. Wow. So this has been a full term, kind of the culmination of a full term of planning. Wow. And they've done a great job. Uh, inside, there's some great food, there's a great atmosphere, and I'm really excited for what we're going to see tonight. I'm here with Quinn. Um, Quinn, can you tell me about uh, the name of your performance and a little bit about it? I demonstrated the art of Aikido, which is a martial art that I teach here at Portland State University as a class for credit, so please take my class. Um, Aikido is a Japanese martial art of self-defense. Its primary principle is to use as little effort as possible to resolve a situation and to resolve a situation with as little violence as possible. And these two things might sound very difficult, and in fact they are, but they're possible. Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm here with Amelia and Alyssa. So, how are you ladies enjoying the performance so far? It's great. Yeah, it's really great. It's, it's a good experience. What was your favorite thing that happened on stage so far? Taiko. Taiko. We just caught a glimpse of your end of performance victory thing. Can you tell us what that's about? So at the end of every practice, we do a cheer, and that's from years ago when somebody from another university in Japan came here and brought it with him. And it just stuck.
police officers, performers, volunteers who made this night possible. I hope you all could enjoy this Japanese festival. Thank you very much for coming tonight. concludes our episode on Japan night. Dylan, what do you have to say? Uh, I had a really great time. I got to throw a baseball that they had at one of their booths. I got, I got to see them make their Japanese paper cranes, which was really cool. They made an awful lot of those. The performances were great. There was great music, great energy, and there was some martial arts involved. It was a fantastic time. Personally, I had the most fun dancing. Anyways, that concludes our episode on Japan Night. I hope you enjoyed it. This is PSU TV checking out.